welcome back to the place. Another reminder, we have an agreement here. Every day you type in atheist, this guy pops up. That's our relationship. Now, it's also understood that as an atheist, you'll never subscribe to my channel because that would be a, that would be an attack on your identity to ever subscribe to me because I don't want to dis, I don't want to get all these new video notifications of this Christian that I definitely disagree with. I'm never going to subscribe to him. But the irony is, even though people won't subscribe, they keep searching atheist, sort by new in YouTube, and then I keep popping up. So by default, it's like atheist subscribe to my channel. That's our understanding. That's, that's what's going on here. We just have to accept it as it is. Like I said in another video, as for atheists and Christians, we have to accept that there are certain things, there are certain mysteries in life that we're never going to have answers to in this life. And we have to ultimately be okay with that in the end, whether we're an atheist or a Christian. That was a fun little icebreaker. I'm looking at a video I made called Atheist Asks Christian, quote, what is the most challenging part of your faith? So that's a video. If that sounds interesting, look it up, check it out. Uh, I'm going to look at Michael Lemons. Uh, I like what he had to say here because I, I constantly remind people, atheist, I constantly remind atheist, I am never going to be interested in debating with you. I am not here to prove that God is, is real or, or, or that you're right or wrong or zero interest to in me because I don't have a high, I don't have a high IQ. I have a high EQ, which is emotional intelligence, knowing how to communicate with people and find out what actually motivates people, what their fears, what their ambitions are, that, that sort of thing. So with that being said, Michael Lemons left this comment, quote, debates equals vain attempts to win an argument. Discussion equals interesting discourse that results in learning on both parts. Uh, so I want to talk about that. And, and I have before in other videos, just talking about emotional intelligence and how important that is to me. But something I have perceived culturally with atheists as they've left comments, they're looking for a way in to start a debate and they are consistently disappointed when they find out that I refuse to defend my beliefs. They, and I think that's because for them, it's too much part of their identity not to defend their beliefs. But for me, I recognize that when a person says that they're an atheist, they're pretty much set in, in that mindset. I'm not saying they can't can be convinced otherwise. Of course they can. But the likelihood of you typing in atheist, sorting by new, watching my video, you're probably looking for a debate. You're probably looking to find a way to be the one who got the, who, who proved the Christian wrong. Well, I'm going to say already, right now, you've already proved me wrong. If in your mind you think I'm wrong, if you think I'm ignorant, if you think I'm naive, you're right because that's your perception of reality. Anything you believe is true in your mind. So you, yeah, that's already true. I'm, I openly acknowledge that atheists perceive me as wrong, ignorant, even immoral. I have constantly get those accusations and I'm okay with that. But going back to the concept of, of debating, what is a debate? Let me remind you all, I'm older than you. I'm 38 years old. I'm nearly 40. Okay. I've experienced a lot of life. Not much bothers me anymore because I really realize how little actually matters to my life. And, and whether a person agrees with me or not, what does that matter? I've I said it many times. I'll say it again. You cannot gain someone's respect by proving them wrong. The only way you could ever gain the respect from someone you disagree with is to show them respect and you have an actual conversation in which there's no agenda to try to prove them against what they already believe. Why? Because identity protective cognition exists. That means anything you believe, strongly held beliefs, when someone starts speaking against that, your defense goes up and anything they say only reinforces what you already believe. How foolish, what a waste of time it would be for me as a Christian to try to debate atheists. So what you're going to see in this channel is ultimately one of the themes of this channel is me attempting to simply have emotionally intelligent conversations with atheists, but never debates. And I want you to start paying attention to this in the comments section. I want you to look at atheists as they leave comments that come lashing out at me already. 
they're, they're attempting to insult me. They're attempting to try to get to me emotionally, which again, I've explained many times in many ways, it's not going to happen, but you'll see that happening. And think of it this way, if you really wanna have fun with this channel and you really wanna have fun with where I'm going and all these videos directed toward atheists, if you really wanna have fun, no matter what side of the fence, on, you may be a Christian, you may be an atheist, you may be an agnostic. If you wanna look for the hidden meaning, the hidden little game in these videos is actually, you're gonna see this guy consistently making videos to cater to an atheist audience who refuse to subscribe to him but instead keep typing in atheist or by new and then I'm the main guy that shows up. You're gonna see that and you're gonna see them trying to debate with me, trying to insult with me, and then they just get frustrated. And if anything, you could get a chuckle out of that. Yeah, you could just kind of laugh because like they don't realize Nick's rules that he is never going to debate with them because he's playing this game from an emotionally intelligent point of view. Nick Shell says this, Atheists, you say your IQ is higher than me. You absolutely are right. I never claimed to be a smart guy. I did claim to be emotionally intelligent. So the real game here, if there's a game, if there, if there was a debate, it'd be me video after video at the end of it saying, you know what? This is what emotional intelligence looks like. What it's never going to be is me saying, this is what a debate looks like, and I just proved the atheist wrong. No, no, no. I'm not looking to prove anybody wrong. If I wanted to gain your respect, it's by bringing you to this level over here. Right over here, not over here, but over here. Let's, let's acknowledge that we morally disagree, but that we don't have to look down on each other, that we don't have to insult each other, that we don't have to prove each other wrong, because we are surrounded by people in the world that morally have different views than us, whether it's different religions or whether it's different uh, beliefs in general, we, it's safe to say that morally, most people disagree with us, whatever we believe. So imagine if we only would respect people that we agreed with. Meanwhile, I respect a lot of people. I respect a lot of atheists. I respect a lot of Muslims. I respect a lot of people who are in the gay community. It doesn't mean that I morally approve or agree with whatever they believe, but I still respect them. And I believe that everyone should have equal rights. I don't believe in discriminating against them because I morally disagree with them. That's emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is saying, you know what? I don't have to morally agree with someone, but absolutely they deserve rights. I don't need to celebrate necessarily what their beliefs are, but I can celebrate them as a person. Because the moment we begin deciding who deserves rights based on what they believe? No, 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 we're all, we're all humans. Can we, not, can we not have different views of the world and be okay with that and not try to change each other? There, there's, there's such a known situation with atheists and Christians wanting to convert each other, prove each other wrong. It, it's very noticeable there. But it can happen with any, we, we see it with Democrats and Republicans all the time. And I, I, I feel this could just as easily be a political channel. If I were, if I, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, but if I were, I very easily could just choose one of the sides. Like if I could start another channel, I could, I could even start one channel where I like pretend to be an, a Republican and then another channel where I pretend to be a Democrat. And I just make these videos where I'm like trying to prove the other side wrong, where secretly I'm not either. Man, I'm giving myself a good idea. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with that idea because I'm, that sounds hilarious and kind of awesome. But I'm not going to do it because ultimately it would just, it would be the same thing as this when I'm doing these videos. People get easily distracted. They get distracted by trying to prove people wrong in debate instead of actually communicating, instead of actually connecting with people. And I think, man, is this another video idea? The concept that specifically Christians have a community. We have that place to belong, but for atheists, they don't. There's no real central belief. There's no central leader. So therefore, I think we're all built for, quote, fellowship. I know that's a Christian word. I believe we're all built for that. We're built for that community. And I think that's why ultimately Christian, or that, why often atheists in the comment section want to try to tear me down, to try to prove me wrong, to try to debate with me. 
because it helps them feel connected as a group. Man, I think that's another video. I think I need to do it. In the meantime, your comments about how this channel, this video series is really just about emotional intelligence. That's all this actually, this whole conversation, this series, all it's actually about. It's never about proving God real or not. It's not about us proving each other wrong. It is about communication, collaboration, conversation, but not a debate. Your comments are right here.